Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and a big bloody welcome to the very final session of Tomb Raider 2. Right, to start this off, we're going to be starting on the Dragon's Lair. Now, I don't know if this is the last level, because uh, a few guys, a few of you guys, said in the comments that there's two very short levels to finish off the game. So let's, uh, let's get a move on with this level first. And I have to say, the Dragon's Lair, oh, come on. I could have told you from the very beginning that the last boss was going to be a dragon. Okay, that's interesting. So, door opens, reveals one of the jade guys. Right. Let's use the Uzis here. These were quite effective against these guys. And it's also presenting us sort of some Uzi rounds on the floor over uh -huh. there. Which we can just pick up uh -huh. via doing a sideways jump. Uh, now we've got to go past him. Yeah, I could have told you right at the beginning of the game that the last boss was going to be a dragon. And... I pretty much bloody suspect it's going to be uh, just that. Right, here he comes. I'm quite glad they don't cause any damage, like, uh... Something else exploded, didn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh my god! What was it? There we go. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, it was the enemies in the first game, wasn't it? Yeah, they they kind of exploded when they died, and that, that was bloody annoying. Right, one of them's gonna come alive again, it's the one completely opposite us. Right. This time we're gonna jump over him and oh that Okay, who next? What's that opened? Oh Okay, the door's shut. Is that a lever? How bizarre. Right, so the door opened, we went in. We pulled this lever after killing the first guy. Now the door's shut. After this guy came alive. Let's check behind the other two, shall we? Nothing behind him. Um, I suspect... I thought I'd just impale myself on his spike then. Or on his spear. Right, I'm just going to pull the lever again because I uh, can't see much else we can do in the, this room at present. Right. So this door's been reopened. Strange, strange, strange. What the bloody hell are we doing? I, I must be missing something here. Right, let's go pull the lever again and see... Like... What happens? The door's shut. That door's shut. There's nothing on that end. How bizarre. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't see you there. Right, you're gonna make one of these two come alive. Which one? Ah. I think we've got just. Oh, okay, both of them are gonna come alive this time. Makes a change. Oh. Oh, health. Uh, I kind of switched target halfway through that then. Right, let's finish off using our Uzi ammo. We'll try and finish this guy off with pistols. Uh, it's not going to be too much fun. This is quite tough. There we go. Okay, right. So that's opened up that door. So we have a we have a route of getting out of here. I'm just going to double check that there's no more levers in this room because uh, just for not looking carefully, I didn't spot that lever until. Like a certain point. Now, I've got to say, 
sorry to you guys. Due to rushing, I haven't been able to respond to any comments. I'm like a week behind on comments. And that means, of course, I haven't actually even bothered to look at your comments from, like, whatever parts are uploaded at present. I think it's part 42 through to 4... Uh, uh, part 42 and 43. We're not using the pistols, that would just be silly. We use the automatic pistols, at least it's a slight upgrade from... Right, okay, so it's just one of these guys. They're no real problem, to be honest. Oh, there's two of them. Right, once you know what these guys are going to do... i tell you what, they're bloody easy to dodge, aren't they? It's just... There were so many of them in the previous level. Right, okay. This wants me to use flares. Yes, this definitely wants me to use flares. I'm going to save the game here. We've, we've, we've moving on to Tomb Raider 3. I'm going to make the most of the save function. Because I'm aware that I'm going to lose that privilege in Tomb Raider 3. And we'll start by checking the outskirts of this room. I should probably take a quick glance at what's in the middle of it as well, actually. Alright, just a light source, lots of pillars. This reminds me of an area from uh, House of the Dead 2. Like with the snakes, where you shoot the... In oh, here's another guy. Yeah, where you shoot the individual heads. I'm just going to try and throw his... Oh, there's a few. Right, at least we've got a use for the uh, automatic pistols here. So I feel like I'm not actually wasting ammo by using the automatic pistols on these guys, at least. Because it feels kind of fitting. And we're also earning ourselves a bit of, uh... Oh shit, there's more. <sighs> Other ammo. Yeah, guys who've played House of the Dead, I think you'll know what I'm on about when I mention uh, the area with the snakes. We'll use the pistols to finish off this guy. Though he may have more friends. Keep quit turning sideways, Lara. Oh, for God's sake, whatever. Oh, bloody hell, I'm doing a really bad job of this dodging business at present. She was just refusing to jump and just fa fancied, like, twisting around on the spot. Jesus. We're earning heaps of bloody Uzi ammo here. Right, so we've got a little plate thing here. We earned ourselves a little plate thing. I don't know what that's going to... Do. I mean, I was shocked when one of the secrets got. Oh my god! 480! Just from picking up ammo from these guys. I mean, like, well, earlier on the game, the secrets were presenting us with about that much, weren't they? Probably less, actually. But all of a sudden, yeah, it's just literally chucking Uzi ammo at us. Right, so we haven't got to worry about ammo like we were in the previous level. Right. Let's keep checking the outskirts of this room. It may trigger more enemies to come around, but uh, hopefully that won't be the case. And hopefully there'll be some kind of secret around this room. Otherwise, I can see what we've got to do. We've got to put the little plate thing into the... I think I've already checked down here. Yes. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's just move on to the next area, shall we? And what? Let's have a quick look, see if we can see what's beyond it. Mm, can't really see anything, to be honest. Let's get rid of the... Oh, bugger. No. I said let's get rid of the flare. Go away. I love how casually she throws them away. Right. Shove in the mystic plaque. And we'll move for this door. Ah. Uh. Hmm. This looks like it might be the boss fight area. How many of these small medikits have we got now? We've got two. What's behind us? Wall. Okay, let's advance forward. There's no harm in looking. It's just it's a wide open space. Very wide open space. And we're sliding into it as well. Wow. Something in the distance. D 
door this way. I mean, how so I never run forward at first if it's, uh, like one of a few options. You know, I always like to go to the side first. Nothing but a huge wall here. Oh, this is really laying me in for a boss fight. I mean, come on. If, if a boss isn't going to attack me here, I'm going to be quite shocked. Right. What else have we got? We got... What's this? Ah. An area of water underneath. I think that's Batali. In the middle there. On a little plaque. Kind of thing. And I assume that when we go near him, he's going to transform into a dragon. Because I think that's what stabbing yourself with the dagger does. Or I'm led to believe that anyway. Right, we're going to save the game and then we're going to hop into this water area underneath here. Because I think there's some some shit we can pick up. And uh, I think we're supposed to use these holes. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, we've accidentally triggered the dragon. Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell. It's a good job I saved the game there, but on the downside, I have gone and triggered the dragon. So as soon as I load the game, the dragon's gonna start attacking us, I guess. Right, okay. Oh, we only had half health, didn't we? Sorry, a 42 cough a whole health bar then, which would have been, frankly, quite shocking. So I was right in thinking he's going to transform, and there we go, we've actually activated that right now. There's a lot of ammo down here, isn't there? It's all Uzi as well. It is all Uzi. Do you reckon he can do anything to us while we're down here? I'm sure he can when we pop our little head up. Alright, well we may as well pick all this shit up. Holy hell, there is a lot of it. We're going to have, like, at, like at least a thousand worth of Uzi ammo after we've done this. It's just screaming. Use me, please, Lara. Right, what, what's what's this? Oh, it's a large medikit. Just in case, you know. Right, we're going to have to go up for air here. Holy hell. Oh! Oh my god! Right, okay, he can... He can still damage us while we're in water. That does make se... That's just impolite. That does make sense, I guess. Um... Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna... We're gonna do that again. We're gonna take a quick dip. Pick up all the ammo. Everything that's under the water as quickly as possible. Because I was kind of wasting time there a bit. Unintentionally. And, um, then we're going to save the game and climb out as quick as possible. So that's two. Right. Oh, he gave us two large medikits. Wow. I wonder if uh, it's actually possible to beat the dragon with all this stuff that it's provided with in the assumption that you used everything throughout the game, you know. The camera angle's going a bit spazzy there. Right, okay, is there anything left? There's a large medikit and then there's some Uzi ammo, I think. Yeah. Right, so now, just a quick look to see if there's anything over there. We'll save the game. Oh god, what if what if we can't actually get out of the water? What if it's a trap? No, no, we've got to be able to get out of the water. Because that would just be silly. Right. Okay, quick. Right. Oh yeah, there we go, we've done that no problem. Right, we need to get out. Let's see how many bloody... Holy fuck! What the hell? Oh, why, game? Just why? We don't need that much. Right, we're going to use a small medikit. Because... We can afford it. And, right, okay, dragon tail, dragon tail. 
We may as well use the Uzi. I don't see any harm in using them. Right. Okay, he phases through... The scenery. Quite badly. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Water. Okay, we got in the wall. Oh, we're dead. Right, okay. Well... The more the more attempts I have at this, the more wiser I'm going to get. The more easier it is going to be able be to beat him. I've got to say, he's much of an upgrade on the previous boss from the last game that I just pretty much beat instantly, like with no effort whatsoever. Right? Is he breathing fire? Right. We used a small medikit, didn't we? And then we switched to the Uzis. I think I might just save the game again, so we don't have to do the getting out of the water bit because I feel quite anxious doing that all the bloody uh, like after every time we load the game you know right Uzis okay right we gotta not stay walking oh shit okay he oh are we okay yeah we're okay he moves fast Mm, shit. Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, um... Heal. And... Pop into the water. We'll go up to, We'll go over to another hole and pop out of there. Gotta do this fast, though. I wonder if you can actually detect where we are and... Yes, he pretty much can by the looks of it. Uh, we don't need to cycle, we've already got our... Oh, shit. Right. Okay, that's the kind of shit I want to be doing. Because that is working. Right, where is he? Where is it? Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's working out quite nicely. Uh... Oh no, 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 Laurie, shoot, you're not shooting him there. Right, water's somewhere around here. What the hell's he doing? Is that a glitch? Oh great, just just to put the icing on the cake, I've glitched out the last boss. I mean, now he is completely harmless. I can't shoot him, he can't shoot me. For some reason I can't shoot his body, I'm only able to shoot his head. Now, when I think about it, in the beginning cutscene, the guy pulls a, dra a, a, a dragon out of his dagger? What am I on about? A dagger out of the dragon from his tummy. Have I got to do that? Now, I imagine if it was Tomb Raider Legend, I'd have to with the grapple hook, but... Or whatever it's called, grapple rope. But, in this scenario, I don't have that. And this is an old game, so I don't think that's going to be the case. I think I've just got to flat out shoot the shit out of him. Kind of business, you know. Uh, Should we continue this? I think I might save the game here, actually, because this is quite pleasant. You know, I can take all the time I want because Dragon is derping out and getting angry at the pillar by the looks of it. Right. Yeah, there we go. That's going moving again at least. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Water. Okay. Right. Something has happened. I'm not sure what. But he doesn't seem too happy about it, whatever it is. Right, get out of the water. Right, okay, I think I've got this now. I think he goes into a state of paralysis for about... God knows how many seconds, like 10 seconds or something. And I get the feeling that in that time we have to wander up to him and pull... Oh shit, I failed that one, I'm sorry. If I can quickly get out of the water. 
Yes, here we go. There we go, brilliant. Force as much. I figured that one out nice and quick. It's a good job I remember the beginning cutscene. I've seen it say, so, oh great, Tomb's gonna collapse now because that's just uh, typical of these kind of games really, isn't it? Right, since... Uh, oh, let's just keep going. Oh, bugger. Okay, let's save the game. I was gonna... I was, that was what I was about to say, but I thought, no, we're, we're right at the end of the game. We can do this, no problem. We don't need to save the game, but I quick, very quickly changed my mind after that nearly hit me and killed me. Right, so we're probably just gonna go through a series of traps here anyway, like we did in the first game. I'm just gonna keep running at this part. I'm not even gonna bother stopping. I can't see what the hell I'm doing, though. Okay. Okay, I certainly see what you mean by that w that being a short level. 20 minutes. Uh, well, it says 15 minutes there, but I've been recording for 20 minutes. I think five of those 15 minutes were stood there staring at a glitched-out dragon. 